It's already been an historic year for the teams, the tennis teams at the University of Chicago. Yeah, Medzon joins us, and they have more success ahead, we're hoping. Yeah, for the first time in school history, both the men's and women's teams at the University of Chicago are ranked number one in their region in Division Three. As Jackie Kostek explains, one big goal remains as both teams get set for the national quarterfinals next week. The goal has always been, and the expectation has always been, to compete for national title this year. While University of Chicago tennis coach JT has the highest goals for his teams, no one anticipated this. It's pretty unique and special to not just get one team there, but two teams there, and the success we've had along the way. At season start, Coach Jay says the men's team was ranked number two, one of the clear favorites. But the women's team was more of a wild card with a third of the team freshmen. We knew they were good. We didn't know how good and how they would do under expectations and the pressure. You could say the women surpassed expectations, becoming the first top ranked women's tennis team in school history. A few weeks ago, another first. Both the men's and women's team atop the standings at the same time. And this week, the University Athletic Association doled out conference honors. The Maroons cleaned up. I woke up and first thing I did was check my phone, as one does, and I see a text from my our volunteer assistant coach, Dennis, great guy, and he's like, congrats on player of the year, you really deserve it. And my, my pupils widened, I jumped out of bed, I was so excited, I had a really good day. Freshman Sylvia Mikos had a pretty good day too, being named both player and rookie of the year. It's a little bit of a shock, to be honest. Um, by far, like I wouldn't consider myself by far like the best player in the country at all. Um, but having some sort of recognition, even if it's D3, is so great. Coach of the year JT points to lessons he learned during two pandemic altered seasons for the recent success. It helped me as a coach through those times when we were practicing, may not play matches, the practices were just a little lighter and a little more fun and we were playing better. Uh, those kind of things translated into this year. Our atmosphere, the environment, when we go to practice, when we wake up, even if we have 7 a.m. practices, we're all really happy to be there. And happy to get the chance to compete. U Chicago has never won a team NCAA national title, so I'm all about making history. Both teams on the cusp of one big goal not yet reached. Jackie Kostek, CBS 2 News.